everyone today I'm going to show you some things that I bought recently uh, those things are from Watson there are also a few things from living cabin I think that I'll show those first to you now before that if you hear any uh, worrying sound that's the fan now as you can see these are the things that I bought from living cabin um, these are um, uh, this, it's called pure natural essential oils these are not perfume oils these are for your burners your oil burners that is I bought this one in okay the first one in Apple it's a cute packaging um, all of them comes in this kind of uh, bottle you just press on this and then after that you get the right amount of um, oil in order to burn. This smells exactly like apples, uh, green apple that is. Very nice, very fresh, sweet at the same time. So these are going for $5.90 each. Um, I only bought four. There are a few more others that I didn't purchase this time because, well... I was just being a bit frugal and at the same time I think that some of them didn't really smell that great. There was one of them that's called mint and it smells really nice, really fresh but it smells like it belongs in a toilet instead or maybe in the kitchen. So um, I didn't really like that. Uh, the next one is Lily. Now Lily has this kind of um, soapy kind of smell. But at the same time, a bit herbally. Um, do you know the kind of uh, perfume oils that you would smell at a uh, facial spa? It kind of smells like that, but with some soap, um, a generic kind of soap smell. This is my husband's favorite because he really likes lemon uh, scent. It's not as strong as the one that I bought previously from, um, I can't remember what it was, Hinobi, I think. Um, it's not that strong. It's quite faint, actually. It's quite nice. It's not bad for $5.90 each. Yeah, it's not that bad. Last one is in Jasmine, and I really like the packaging. Very sweet. Jasmine has a more of that generic soap smell. I think that Lux soap in green or blue color. This would be great to burn in the toilet. I would usually use these kinds of oils and burn them whenever um, I have a change of moods. Great to have in your home in case you want to make your house smells nice or even if you are having a change of moods and you feel that you need um, a more calming mood and you can choose either one of these and burn them and then you can uh, transport back to your tranquility place <laughs> so that's it from living cabin but I would highly suggest checking out Hinobe which is that five ringgit shop there's one from living cabin which I really want to buy and I forgot yesterday I don't know whether it's still there or not um, it's the orange scent um, it comes in a small bottle like this that one smells really fresh if you put it in your um, living room or your room itself the whole room would smell um, of oranges and it's, it smells really strong but not too overpowering on to Watson a few essentials Panadol Activast then I bought another T3 Oil Out Balancing Serum from Naruko. Now this one costs I think 50 something for this small bottle. These are the exciting items. I bought quite a few uh, lipsticks yesterday. Um, these are from the Maybelline, I think Color Essential line. This one I've already opened and I have it on my lips right now. It's more vibrant than um, what you're seeing on the screen. It is this color right here. Uh, 
It's more vibrant than that. And this one is called Party Pink. I really like the packaging. It looks very sleek. I think that Maybelline has really stepped up in packaging their items. Um, this is really pretty. It's actually kind of a... I can't see it though. It's kind of like a pinkish fuchsia color. I need to show you what this color looks like on my skin tone. It's more vibrant than that actually. And I really like this because um, with just one swipe you get a lot of pigmentation. You don't need to use too much of it and it's quite smooth actually. This one would normally cost I think 25 ringgit. The next one is a different color from the fuchsia uh, lipstick. It is also from the color Sensational line, but uh, this one is more red. So this is more red compared to this one. This is more fuchsia. I think I like the fuchsia one better, but it's still sleek. Very nice. This one is called Summer Sunset. And this is how it looks like. Yeah, you don't need too much of this. And well, what I found out about this is that these two um, lipsticks are very creamy. So that is Summer Sunset. Now the next one is one of the lipsticks that I've been searching for from Maybelline. If you watch one of my tutorials, Joe Makeup Let's Makeup video, and there are two videos. One is the remake, which is right here, and this one is the original video. The lipstick that I've used in that video, I was trying to find uh, a duplicate for that lipstick. I think I found it. This one that I'm going to show you is from the Water Shine Pure line. That's the colour right there. This is much frostier than the one that I have. It's almost similar. This one is in BC11. But this is how it looks like. Like it says, it is a water shine. It's more of a balm-like uh, lipstick. There we go. It's almost similar to the one that I have. Now the one that I'm trying to replicate is from the Water Shine Pure. And it's, the number is 104. I have very little left. See? So this is it right here. Almost looks the same, right? This one is a little bit more coral, the one that I'm trying to replicate. And the new one that I bought, it's a little bit more pink, I think. So that was the end of the haul from Watson. The next item I bought from Max Factor. Um, now, to tell you the complete truth, I prefer this mascara compared to uh, Rimmel. Yeah, so far I've used Rimmel mascara. So I prefer it uh, more than the Rimmel one because you don't need to layer on too much of these in order to get that um, volume or that wispy kind of look um, to your lashes. So I really prefer this False Lash Effect Mascara, uh, which is in black from Max Factor compared to what's uh, compared to Rimmel. This is a very good mascara. I like it because um, when I use it, my lashes looks really full, and it looks like I'm wearing false lashes. What I don't like about this is that um, this one costs sixty six ringgit each. As far as I know, the ones that I've used previously, um, it lasts quite a long time. You don't need to use too much of it. That's all for my haul. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video. If you need any information or if you have any queries about any of the products that I've shown in this video, please let me know in the comment section below. I hope you're having a good day. Take care and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!